Hey everybody, we are at the Building Center in Poing, right outside Munich, Germany, and we're getting ready to go on a tour of this house behind me, Beam Zanker, Das House. Wait until you see the amenities inside of this home. You're gonna love it. Let's go. I really wanted to talk about this Firmacell board. Looks like uh, our typical gypsum board or sheetrock, right? So, however, it is not very efficient use of this here in Germany. So this is waterproof. So it is not only used on the walls and then they roll this finish over to give it a rough look and finish like you're seeing here. It's also used, let me go back in here, in the shower. Well, this is a steam room, even better. This is used in the steam room, same board. Now, you think that's interesting. It's used on the ceilings as well. And it's used on the floor. They don't have separate materials for the wall. They don't have separate materials for the floor. They don't have separate materials for the ceiling. Now this is a panelized offsite constructed home. You can see up here, again, they're not using a whole bunch of spackle and they're not using a whole bunch of caulking where their panel systems come together on this uh, ceiling is an elastic material and it allows the house to expand and contract this is a company called firmacell so if you guys want to check it out and you have not been to this place in germany right outside of munich uh, i highly suggest coming there's a bunch of houses here we're going to keep showing them to you firmacell love it All right, everybody, what I wanted to show you here while we're still in Germany at the Building Center Poing is some of the doors they're using uh, in this particular home. This is a Geldwin door. We can get this in the United States, I'm sure of it, or at least something similar. You can see the size of it. They're heavy doors. They're beautiful doors, but look at the hinges they're using. These are Simon Work hinges, and that is work with an E, W-E-R-K at the end of it. Look how heavy those hinges are. Not only the hinges heavy duty, but we also have heavy duty locks, and I'll be able to show you that to you here as well. I mean, everything's just solid. And I think this is what's so great about what we're looking at here. There are several homes, and I mean like a whole neighborhood of houses, all different builds, all different build types. This is a wood panelized structure. We're gonna talk more about that later, but awesome gelled wind doors. I wanted to show you these two things on the wall. That is their heating and cooling. So as you can see in the mechanical room, how this is all run on separate duct systems, it's, it's a low velocity, like I guess small velocity duct system that is in here. And we're gonna bring more of that to you with an amazing sub panel. Look at the size of this sub panel that's in here uh, and how neat it is compared to what we see at home. But that is the only two units for this entire room because these homes are built so well and so tight. You don't need anything more than that. You don't have to have everything coming from the floor or coming from the ceiling. The house is very well balanced as far as airflow goes and it's all you need. So check it out, build it tight. You can use less to heat and cool. All right, listen, I wanted to show everybody the windows here at the building center in Poing in this particular home. As you can see, they're huge windows. They're also double pane windows now, but they're also treated as a three pane system because of the space and the air gap that they have in between. But look at the size of, of these windows in this house. Super energy efficient, using the light the way it should be done. Love them.